Hey guys, Guitar Pilgrim here, and it's been a while since I last did a tutorial, so for today we're gonna do Blackbird by the Beatles. Go grab your guitar, this one is a lot of fun to play. Now you can play Blackbird like this, like many people do. But that's not really how you want to play this song. You need to use Paul McCartney's technique, and he does a bit of finger picking as well as some strumming also in there. Look. Sounds much more like the record. A bit of finger picking and also a bit of strumming. Quite unique. Let's take a look. We've got the ring finger at the third fret of the low E string. Right hand, we're gonna pick the low E string as well as the B string. Now, Paul McCartney uses his index finger. And I like to use my middle finger for some reason. Both are fine, but you have to choose one of those two. It's gonna be middle finger or index finger. Now the same finger you're gonna to use to do the strumming as well. So I'm gonna use my middle finger for that. And you want to aim on the D and the G string and make sure it's very soft. So we've got. Then it's index finger, first fret. Make sure to pick the A string this time and it's a hammer on. Then index finger, 2nd fret on the A string, little finger, 3rd fret, B string. This is called a G over B. After each chord, there's this little strum in there. So we've got... Now slide up all the way to the 10th and 12th fret. And this is called a G chord. And this one needs to be on time. The way to do that is to slide up the moment you do the strum. Don't be too late like this. And then slide, you're gonna to be too late. So it's on the strum that you want to slide. And once you get to this G chord, we're gonna do a finger picking pattern, which is a bit longer, and you're gonna do this one many times during the song, so here it is. You want to pick the A string as well as the B string, then strum, B string, thump, open G string, and strum. So it's... Very important to get this one right because you're gonna play it so many times. Let's start at the beginning. Three, four. faster then next up we've got the verse and that starts off exactly the same as the intro blackbird singing in the dead of night but this next part Paul McCartney plays it like this and so forth and that's a bit of a stretch look Oh my god! So what I do, I play it a little bit different. I do it like this. And that's just a little bit easier for your fingers, not as much of a stretch. So we're gonna do the middle finger at the third fret of the A string. Then you wanna slide up that middle finger one fret at the index finger, third fret, the E string. Now slide down your index finger, make sure to pick the D string with your thumb. Slide three frets up, add the middle finger again, all the way to the E minor. Index finger, second fret, little finger, third fret. Now it's very important here to do all this sliding because that makes it so much easier. Slide with the middle finger. Next finger, next finger up, E minor. Once you get to the E minor, we're gonna do the finger picking pattern, same as in the intro. Now slide back your index finger, and let's finish the verse. Index finger, second fret, 
slide up, middle finger. Index finger, third fret, little finger, fifth fret. And from here on out, we're gonna do the finger picking pattern all the way up to the G. Slide back your little finger. Slide back both fingers. Hold on, we're almost there. Middle finger, second fret, B string. Index finger, first fret. Make sure to pick the D string here. And we're back where we once came from, the G. So that part is... And next up we've got the chorus. You want to start with your index finger at the 8th fret of the A string, little finger 10th fret of the B string. And you want to slide down your index finger one fret and your little finger two frets. And we're just going to use the index finger and the little finger and nothing else. Slide down both fingers two frets. Back to the third and fifth fret. All the way to the first and third fret. And once you get to this chord, we're going to do the finger picking pattern once more. And back. So let's hear how that section should sound. Last part of the chorus, back to the 8th and 10th fret. Exactly the same. From here on out, we're going to proceed back to the G chord, just like in the verse. Then the ending of the song goes like this. It's kind of like the same as the ending of the verse, very much alike. Repeat. again, this time slow down a bit, slow down more, and on a G chord. And there you have it, those are all the basic parts of Blackbird, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, thanks for watching and subscribing, and I will see you next time.